you're um Ooh, you appear to be in the upside down. <laughs> no. Yes. Weren't we there last time I spoke to you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow, I love the tentacles. That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. It says everything really. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You don't need me, it's just the picture. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. So we are here. We're going to do the, the last session of... Are we live? Bleak Prospects. Yeah, we're live. We're not yet. Yes, we are. I'm going to go live on my channel. There we go. Oh, you oh. have your channel. Wait. You're live on my channel, so we have a preview. There you go. That's what you get for choosing <laughs> with me. I am I'll, not I'll, going to record. I'll try not to kill any youths. <laughs> Just to break out from previous. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, because oh God. I know that it's really. I forgot about that. I'm not. I haven't. Just to reassure you. Oh, yeah. I, I, I had. T Thomas has been um, thinking about this for the past month and a half. <laughs> I, have, I have thoughts. God, it's been a while. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it has been 51 yeah, days. Yes, we one may day. need I a little like recap. I keep my notes yep. underneath. Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. The paper notes. Yep. So let us just remind ourselves what it said on our sesh planning thing. Terrible thing. Bleak prospects. Return to the hard scrubble world of bleak prospects and face the evil made manifest in the world by the Leviathan Society. Bring justice for the weak and the young and pay the price of your own actions. Douglas. <laughs> He's yeah. gonna die. <laughs> sure. I put him you out of his misery. I mean euthanasia. Uh, uh, euthanasia. Uh, <laughs> elderly <laughs> assisted <laughs> death. I think it's called. Oh god. Assisted right. by the elderly. Yeah. Before yeah. Doug digs a hole so deep that no one can see the top of it. Um. When last we saw intrepid heroes, you had discovered that someone had possessed an entire house and they were awful mm. and it was sticky and it had a tongue and it wanted to lick you which was deeply uncomfortable yeah. some of you decided to leave the building via the front door some because we were frightened because mm. you were, we frightened, were frightened. And, and you did run away and some of you decided to stick it out and rescue the children from mm. the basement which you did mm. except well only one of them mm. because mm. one of them didn't make it out of the basement one of them isn't going to be joining their family back home. They're in a pool of blood in the basement caused by someone in the group who smashed their way out through the back window where you have discovered a warehouse, uh, well, a, a shed, large shed. shed. And yeah. there is a generator operating on the shed. And there is yeah. a sense of something odd going Gasoline. on. Gasoline. Gasoline. Yes, and, and there, there is, is also much fuel, diesel, mm. and also or, there's or weird gas. stuff in the grass. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, oh. yes, yeah. sluggy things, sluggy, sluggy things yes, in the grass. Paul and I yes. made our way round to the back of the house ourselves, hadn't we? But avoiding correct slimy, icky sluggy stuff. Things. I seem to remember. Yeah, correct. Uh, yeah. Uh, was it, uh, uh, was how was? Uh, <laughs> uh, go ahead, Paul. Uh, how is um, uh, your health, uh, Douglas? Your character health? Yeah, Douglas, I'm almost afraid to answer that question. Um, oh, I am, good. I am, uh, I am battered and exhausted. I'm also very angry and very frightened, and I feel kind of hopeless. What okay, do you? Have I was uh, about to put. I was about to punch you because what they did to to the child, but I will refrain for it. You uh, had all gathered together at the back of the house. You had actually managed yeah. to get back together because okay. some of you had yeah. skated That's around was the about outside to edge and zip across the backyard, as it were, uh, as we were yeah. saying in this far distant colony. So, so uh, do we know what happened in the basement? Did, uh, have we had that? Re no. Recap. Uh, no. Okay. No. I'm no. Just, no. I think we've only just, just, just touched Do base. I know each anything other. because I wasn't cool. here last session. So I don't know what he did with the doctor. Terrible, terrible things. <laughs> um, oh, God. the doctor. The doctor was obviously hanging around outside the building. Saw some 
basketball run out with a girl, a child, child, girl. Yeah. She was rescued. There was one rescued person. And I think that was Muhammad's character who yeah. carried her out, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Uh, no, so he's the understand. only person who knows there should be two children other than the person who knows there should be two children. Uh, do, do we know... We do know there were children missing. Esther. Was it Billy and Esther? Billy and Esther are indeed missing. So Esther Billy... has been found. Billy didn't make it out of the building. For some reason. So. Now, there's this lovely... So you're all gathered at the back of the place. There's a large shed, um, which kind of looks like a classic shed. It's got a double wooden door in front of it. It's not big enough for a car or a cart. It's just a big shed. Um, there are two smaller buildings attached to it. You can hear them. They're both obviously running diesel generators. You can hear the rat, 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 rat of the diesel generators. You can see large cabling running from those buildings um, into the shed-like structure. Um, there is an eerie green light. It's late afternoon slash evening by this point. I think I think that sounds right. Anyway, it's late afternoon. Let's go with that. Time travels differently inside the building. Um, and there's an eerie green pulsating light coming from the shed through the sort of, you know, frosted windows, which are not really frosted, mostly just yucky and dirty. And um, the people who fled out the back were i think muhammad's character and doug's and character Doug, who yeah. both who smashed their way through the glass to get out of the building before the building ate them um and the people who ran out the front were obviously uh matt and paul's character and frank you will be assumed to be part of team we ran out the front door and got away um in answer to your question frank as the very quickest of recaps you went to the building uh to find out whether the leviathan society was still operating out of the building because you'd worked out they were kidnapping people and this yeah. is probably where they were taking them um you discovered that the building itself was possessed and was undergoing a shift to being a biological entity mm -hmm. so there was saliva on the floors there was a tongue in the master bedroom that talked to you uh there was a general sense of Ugh. And when you ran out of the building, the building tried to eat you. It definitively tried to eat you. There's not really much debate. There was a conversation with the building that was like, maybe we could all be friends. And the building and was like, sure, He promised really not to eat us, actually. He definitely promised not to eat well, us. Well, yeah. he promised not to eat you if you promised to leave the children so he could eat them. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> there was a, there was a, there was a, you know, quid yeah. pro quo okay, kind of arrangement fair. proposed. You guys clearly didn't intend to keep your side of the bargain. But we got so out. So you did get out. Yeah, there was a lot of fleeing. There was right. a lot of fleeing. Now, is there some immediate danger that this house is going to run after us? Not that you can see. The house seems reasonably stable, but shaking and angry. But this shed doesn't seem to be part of the building. It's not attached to the building, um, at least not directly. Uh, and yeah, so that's where you are. It doesn't so seem to be possessed. No, but and it is powering a thing, and we haven't worked out what thing. Correct, and you have not opened the doors yet. So, in the shed is the generator, yeah. Uh, I think the generator is outside the shed. Two generators in two small little buildings next to the shed. Mm -hmm. Cables running from both generator buildings into shed, and and cans of gasoline. And cans of gasoline because fire made it better. Yeah, it does. It always does. Mm. And right. I seem to remember you saying that very specifically, the scenario said that if we wanted to use the fuel to burn the house down, that was an acceptable course of action. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, you know, I'm just not wanting to react like a PC, but actually react like a PC who has been vindicated by the adventure writer. There's literally box text in the module that says many call of cthulhu investigators see fire as the solution for all of life's problems <laughs> and i recall if the investigators that. desire to make use of the diesel in the sheds to burn down prospect there are a few things to bear in mind <laughs> <laughs> right mm. <laughs> yeah diesel so, is very flammable so yeah, that being one of them yeah i'm gonna do my doctor thing and just look around whether anybody is obviously injured and needing some 
immediate uh, medical yeah, attention. Douglas might be. Yeah, uh, uh, well, probably. I am. I am. I am. I am physically exhausted and battered. Now yeah, I notice. Probably, I did have some sh- shattered conditions, but my sheet looks clean at the moment. Oh. Has that been reset in some way, or did I manage to recover my conditions in some? You might have managed to recover your conditions in some fashion because mm. looking at Doug's character, their sheet definitively has all their conditions on it. Oh yeah. yeah. I think you went out I think when you all yeah, went we outside, escaped. when you yeah, when yeah. you went through the front door, <coughs> you actually spent some time healing up. Right. What right. about you? Oh. How are you, Paul? I mean, um Father Daniel. Yeah. Father Daniel. Oh, Father I'm, Daniel. I'm, I'm a little concerned. Um, uh, we've got to do something about this house. Um, a little concerned isn't one of the mental conditions on this list. I'm frightened. <laughs> He's frightened. All right. Okay. All right. So yeah, you, you see me. You see John. Uh, 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 sorry, uh, uh, I forgot your character name. Thomas. Samuel. Samuel. Yeah, you see John just running at Samuel and pushing him and probably he 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 he, he's loading a fist but john john John, look he had the things all inside of him they were moving under his skin i didn't want to do it i didn't want to do it but you don't know Uh, maybe we found a cure for him no there was no cure you saw what happened to the other guy in in with the doctor he turned to dust. He turned to ash. There was no way I was going to let this child bring these slugs into the into the town. He, I know how. I, look, I am going to live with this for the rest of my life. I can't. At the moment, I'm having a hard time just thinking. I'm sorry, so but what, he was going happened? to infect everybody. What happened? We found Billy downstairs. I found Billy downstairs. I went downstairs to save you. Know, both. Do, where is he then? Why, why isn't he with you? <laughs> Billy didn't where make it. it. Billy didn't make it. <laughs> I, why didn't he make it? If you found him downstairs, the, the, the other child made it, and, and, and she's free. I had him turned well, around, where, where, and I shot him in the back of the head. He was. He was loaded with these things. He was going, he was suffering. And there was no way that any of us or anybody in this world. You murdered an innocent. I didn't murder an innocent. You murdered an innocent. I euthanized an innocent. You murdered an innocent. There is no two ways about this. I get down on my knees and I start to cry. And I put my hands together and I say, Father, forgive me, for I have sinned. And then I start confessing. Uh, it is not. We haven't got time to do this. We've got to burn the house down. Everybody remember the house? <laughs> I, I, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the house is important, yes. We must get out of here. I, I believe the three of you can deal with that. Please forgive me, Father. Right, John. Hmm. Let's see what we can do with the diesel. All right. Is anyone opening the doors to the shed? Okay. (laughs) Since we're over there now looking at the diesel, let's see if there's some more in the shed, shall we? I I thought this was a morality play. I I was settling down for that as well. From a Um, medical perspective... From what he's describing, he was beyond rescue. We've seen how this goes. That's right. <laughs> All right. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm checking. Samuel the is making a play for forgiveness, oh. which I'm just going to point out. I don't know if I feel the actual sense of contrition that goes with that like i'm just calling it out as i see it seems like a you know a pretty bald sort of you know give me the sympathy vote yes i know i killed a small child but look give me a sympathy vote um play but you know to judge judy so yeah i'm getting it yeah yeah well daniel can roll manipulation like anybody else (laughs) so so can i no Um, you are daniel oh sorry no hold on yeah he's he's samuel 
Father Daniel. Dan Not Samuel. Father Daniel. Father what I meant was um, Samuel can roll mm. manipulation to ask for forgiveness. Yeah, yeah, he's that kind of guy. And he got no successes with his one dice. <laughs> Because those conditions are really hurting right now. Yeah. It's, All right. Yeah. Um, so the others of you who are not engaged in this morality play <laughs> that is playing out in the corner um, are going to the generators to steal fuel. Yeah. But we're also, we're while we're there, check, we're going to check shed. inside the shed. Yeah. Uh, probably John will move away from... Uh, from the door, Samuel, uh, because he, he he was about to to, to to murder an old man. So uh, yeah, he's moving away with um, Atlanta to check the chat mm. and leave the doctor and the father to talking to Sam. Okay, so you open the doors to the shed. Inside the shed, there are all these cables and weird machines. Um, most obviously built around a large, uh, metal ring that's actually implanted in the ground. So it's, it's mounted, sorry, but it's mounted flat. Um, you can see a weird greenish light coming from this giant ring. Uh, now that you're standing in the space, you can see that greenish light is sort of drifting out of the feels i guess drifting is probably the right language it doesn't feel like a you know fast moving stream but that light um is kind of feeding into the house uh and you can hear once you're in the shed you can hear squeals and screeches and other things coming from the circle itself like coming through the circle uh, now I'm remembering what the house said to me weeks ago, minutes ago. <laughs> um, it all feels the I'm, same, like a, the trauma. Yeah, yeah. I'm remembering all of that, but not very well. But but the house is in was was um, <coughs> possessed by somebody who had travelled into another realm using a device, and this is the device, isn't it? Correct. This Sorry, is so. This right what we're seeing is it portal sized. Or is it smaller than that? No, no, it's big. Yeah, yeah. You could you yeah. could walk right through that baby. Yep. Yeah, 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 you could. But you know, <laughs> oh, if you were maybe an idiot, you shouldn't. <laughs> maybe you yeah, shouldn't maybe you should. I guess there is um, only one solution, Atlanta, to to finish this. Yeah, and, and is this green light that we see kind of connecting to the house now? So if we if we destroy this portal does it stop the the chance of well who can tell john who can tell, can tell. however yeah. fire makes things good <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, fire, fire brightening up the place right so there are two generators here right and they're outside yes. but there Correct. are cables going to a couple of great big crocodile mm. clips i imagine in this correct in or this thing Big plugs, big plugs, you know. Yeah, but, um, yeah, are they unpluggable is what I'm hoping yes. for. Well, I mean, yes, yes, you can pull the plugs out and Fact. do things. Yeah, yeah I guess. I'm whipping my coat it. off. I'm wrapping my coat around the thing because I don't know how electricity works. I'm a musician for fuck's come sake. Come on, man. And come come on, man. We, we are we used to be electricians. Don't, uh, uh, <laughs> no, we were <laughs> fake electricians, John. <laughs> we were fake electricians. <laughs> yeah. I'm um, pulling, pulling the cable yeah. out. We are still dressed as electricians. <laughs> yeah, I want to point are, out. Yeah. 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 It'll give us a bonus. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel the like it doesn't employ us. It's a learning role. I feel it's a it's a learning yeah. role uh, to. I mean, if you just want to pull plugs out randomly, that's not a learning role. That's just to pull plugs out randomly. That's what I was doing, to be honest. Um, okay. So you're just going to start pulling plugs out from the... Tell you what, I, I'm going to make a learning roll with no hope of yeah. success because <laughs> I'm shit at this. Sure. Shall playing I playing my one? horn, I'm very good at that. Shall I make as well? Sure. Uh, well, I could give you a point. You give me a point for learning. 
shall I take an extra one off him? Extra dice, Thomas? Well, or he's, do you made it, he's made it. He's made He's got a success. Okay. Though. He's rolled it in. That's what I said, Lanta. And I. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey! We, we we look at this together and we say, what if we pull these two main power cables, but power in? <laughs> and ground. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so you think, so you you look around it and turns out, you know, that, that, uh, that time you spent in that recording studio when, you know, things were finally moving to electricity for recording purposes um, have paid off and... You can see that you'll be able to uh, overload the circuits um, quite easily, um, mm. and, and maybe would that be causing and, some sort of explosion? It might, and not only that, you could pour. the The problem with diesel is you need a constant sort of source of charge or heat to ignite it because it, it just takes a while to ignite. Yeah, but, mm -hmm. you can't just you put a, a match of, to you it. You've got a shit ton of electricity pouring in here, and if you could get some resistance going, then that would generate heat, and heat would be the problem. Um, so you could uh, indeed do much damage to the shed. But that's the shed, not the house. Correct. So you would need to start the fire, or you'd need to run the gasoline between the shed and the house to give, you know, to, to ignite it. But once it combusts, it'll combust, and once it's burning, it'll burn. It's a question of heat. Yeah. Right, no. okay, so... Um, all right, okay, just help me, help me here. Yeah. Um, have we actually pulled the things out of the machine? You can are we have just... that is your desire. I think, okay, so we've got this, but we've still got electricity because the generators are still going. So holding two cables that we need to put through an iron bar when we've got the gasoline, but we can stop yep. the machine now, then go and get the gasoline and pour it over the building. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I Have love it when a plan comes together. Generators running electricity into the wires, right? Like, I mean, they're not part of the machine. They're sitting out no, there. No, they're not part of the machine. Away. Yeah. Yep. So you can use. We're electricians, John. Yeah. We're electricians. We're professionals. Oh, no. Right, okay. So first of all, we'll stop the machine. Pull the cables out of the machine. Okay. The, there's a... The the green... Which you, you, I assume, by the way, from the way you're acting, you didn't spend any time looking through the ring. No. No, no, no. no. Well, I... <laughs> um, may have glanced at it, but I, I, wasn't, I wasn't doing that shit. What about you? Uh, Mr. Arnsworth, did you did you spend any quality time gazing into the ring? Um, probably, I will say, for the sake of the story, let's say yes. Wow, well really? Done, John. I thought you were very well. serious to this. It was that mm. a box text that showed up in <laughs> front of you? <laughs> um, you didn't have to. I just, it was actually a genuine question. <laughs> no, 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 cool. Okay, so when you look through the ring, um, what you're looking at is just basically grey mist moving, first mm -hmm. of all, and then you start to see uh, shapes moving through the grey mist. Uh, there are all these worm-like figures sort of shifting and, shif mm -hmm. you know, moving through the mist. That's mostly what you see. Um, every now and then <clears throat> you see them sort of surface almost. You know, not not actually come out of the ring, but yeah. sort of surface across yeah. it. Um, and yeah, they look like, in effect, much bigger versions of the slugs that you've seen um, so far inside people, it's or just outside hole. them. Okay. It is indeed a wormhole. Thank a wormhole. you, thank you, thank you for that. Very appreciative. Um, uh, I so... notice, I notice John's kind of staring into it, and I. <coughs> Whack him on the shoulder and say, John, we've got a job to do, and that's burn this to the ground. Uh, Once things... you unplug it, mm. oh, sorry, go. No, uh, I'm saying these things come come from there. We should, yeah, we should stop it as, as soon as possible. Well, they yeah. sure as hell don't come from Missouri. I don't know. I've seen a lot of things in uh, strange things in Missouri. 
<laughs> All right, so you unplug the the, mm. the ring. The green light ceases not immediately, like the ring carries a charge for a short period of time and then fades. Um, as it fades, you see that green mist sort of, it's it's not shrinking because what's actually happening is it yeah. stopped generating it. So so there's not a constant stream. So the, mm. the, the green light sort of is pushing further and further out in a sense as the... Dissipating more than... Yeah, exactly. Shrinking. And dissipating outward from the ring. So it looks like the the green light is disappearing outward, as it were, or moving outward. Um, uh, when the green light now, what we haven't talked about is um, Esther, who I'm assuming is currently with the sure. doctor oh, with and the, the doctor. priest and the other person. So when that when that sort of wave, if you will, of not green, uh, for want of better language, hits her. She starts to cough and hack and 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 throw up, and you see her coughing up all of these worm-like things um, that she also had inside her. That's right, Samuel. It wasn't just Billy. But well, they're coming out. But they're yeah, coming and out, and as they come out, they fall to the ground the and start to disintegrate. So I'll, I'll try to help her cough them up. <laughs> So Samuel, I want a three-point fear check from you, please, because you have just realised that Billy was absolutely savable. If you had destroyed yeah. the machine, he would and have. So did I. Uh, 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 spoiler alert! You were even there. Uh, you ran out of the friggin' room. Uh, Scared. Yeah, spoiler. but you, okay, you were still so savable. I have to yeah. do a fear check. All right. You do. Okay. Spoiler alert! If anybody saw the the, the movie The Mist. The ending. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at, yeah. I'm at, exactly. I'm at, I'm at yeah. minus three, so I only have two. I only have two days. So no one said it was going to be easy. <laughs> so I, I, uh, uh, I no, <coughs> no, no, I'm pretty peed off. <laughs> nah, that's a fail. That's three conditions, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm broken, so I'm mentally broken. So, I'm... Did you roll? I think I that sounds fair, doesn't it? Oh, it does sound... It sounds very fair. Oh, uh, completely man. reasonably, you are overwhelmed. I have no reason why. <laughs> How appropriate. What does it look like? It's, 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 it, is, it is completely appropriate. Okay, so, you... You are... Um, and I, and I think I'm just, I think this one as well. Yeah. How do I get that one? Oh, it's an item. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, core game. It'll be mental crit injuries and it is called horrifying realization. That sounds like the right one for me. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I reckon that one actually. Let's just give you that one. That one sounds right. Horrifying realization and uh, overwhelmed. Um, so you, yeah. So you're faced with the reality that you've killed this person. Um, a child. Esther, yeah, just child. A Esther actually was just as infected as him. It was just less obvious. And B that the ring was the was actually the cure, uh, turning off the ring. Um, so. I'll let you handle that problem. And <laughs> so what is um, it? It's par it's it's the paranoid over uh, I'm paranoid and overwhelmed. Yeah. Anything else? No, no, I think that'll do it. That'll do. All right. That sounds bad, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Um uh, All right, and the house seems it shudders when the green light stops hitting it, but I assume you don't go back into the house and you run the gasoline around it and burn it to the ground, irrespective. Yep. Yes. Just on the basis of first principles. That dude, that that house is an abomination. <laughs> I've got no idea that it's not. You know, for all I know, yes, you're right. The, having turned the machine off, it may turn back to normal, but it's got to go. It's just got to be a fire pit. I'm a I, professional I think... electrician, stroke horn player. <laughs> It, it, if it reassures you, the house is still somewhat possessed. 
So, you know. Right. Okay. So we're doing that. C, yeah. C, Douglas, we make sure that they're still possessed before we kill them. Samuel. 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 Oh, God. Samuel. 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 You realize what you Two have done. Two different people. <laughs> I, I'm guessing Samuel is basically looking ca fairly catatonic. Uh, oh, uh, I'm, I'm like, I, 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 I look over at the girl and I see her healing. And I look at the doctor who had said, oh, it's incurable. And I'm, and all of a sudden my eyes go wild and I come to the realization. I'm like, no. And I start shaking my head back and forth and I start saying, no. No, this can't be. I did the right thing. I I didn't want the child to suffer. I, I killing I, I an innocent is never the right thing. No, no, you're the mask. You're the mask person. You're the person. You're the person who brought. You you bring all this stuff around. You're you're this. You're not a real priest. We're. I don't know what the I hell am to a do. Real priest. I've never heard anything. And so I just go into kind of a, not a canatonic, but I'm kind of like, I'm just shaking back and forth. And I look after the girl if I can. Yep. I will go and assist to make sure the girl's okay as well. Uh, Clint, just... Let's burn this abom abomination. All right. Well, you guys burn it. That's just done. The house can't do anything to really resist you. You're outside the house. You pour gasoline around the outside. Uh, and I, I, the I think you need to go as well. Yeah. Uh, and I will say to him, oh, that's for, for a god. And I burn him. Nice. Nice. Mm. That's yeah. right. You're not really a god, are you? No, mm -hmm. I didn't think so. Mm. So the house burns. Now, it screams while it burns, by the way, just to make you feel better about burning it. I'm sure it does too. We'll have to take a fear check. Uh, no, I don't think oh, so. I'm going just this check. I think, we, I, think, I think you're all pretty satisfied with the mm. fact that the house screams. I don't think that causes I think any, it, yeah. you any great yeah. sense I'm, of I'm not 100% happy with the, fact, with the fact that the house is screaming, to be honest. Yeah. Um, Would you but, prefer it goes quietly into the night? No. I, it just it means that something is getting hurt in there, which I'm not 100% happy it's with. But, you know. probably the old mm. word just letting off, off gassing. Mm. Don't, it, doesn't, it doesn't sound like a human scream, does it? It doesn't sound. I mean, John, it doesn't sound like a human scream, does it? It doesn't. It's, yeah. it's just it, wood. It's it's the wood creaking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The stories we tell uh, ourselves. I, I, I think we okay. need to move away. Yeah. Um, but before we do, can anybody remember? I I half remember the house telling us that the Leviathan Society had gone somewhere. Correct. They'd run away. I can't remember. They'd Just run away. run away from here, or had they gone into the portal world? No, no, no. They had not gone into the portal world. They had been right. driven out of the house by the house who had by the decided. House. Uh, who had decided to have strong words with them before um, we leave this um, the house i want to destroy this um Shit. completely destroying this machine because the, the, the just... machine is going to burn as well now that we've okay. yeah i think that was that was what okay. i was imagining it was kind of we we i thought over my impression okay, we'd yeah. laid diesel between the shed <laughs> and then we caused a fire in the shed and um and okay. and that was how we set fire to the house. Let's get out of this um, place. Yeah. yeah. So now, we'll but again. the real culprits here, father. Oh, the, the real culprits society. are the ones who did the cruelty to these children in the first place. Yeah. If they're on the run, is there anything we can do? I mean, no. They're they're powerful, unfortunately, they're white. They're powerful land, um, powerful rich people. Um, we can just hope that, well, I, I, I'm not sure what we can realistically do against them. Well, um, you do know the name of the leaders of the Lothviathan Society in town. Uh, what was his name? Sedgwick, wasn't it? Mm, yeah. yeah, Theodore Sedgwick. Um, 
And you also know that he wasn't completely human because you did actually have an encounter with him that gave you very strong, not not completely human vibes. I think mm. you shot him with a shotgun and he kept on going. Yeah. 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 He, he was the bloated guy, wasn't he? Was he was the yeah, bloated was. guy, not the thin yeah. guy. Yeah, the very tall, very bloated um, guy. Um, oh, is he bloated with worm things from the portal? Could mm be. -hmm. It's quite likely. He would be spitting them so out now. Possibly right? if he's going to be throwing them all up and be depowered, possibly. And you do know where he lives. We can go around and. We can go. The doctor's. To him. You bought your car. Obviously, that was what you were doing in the last session, wasn't it? Oh. Fetching your car and bringing it to the house. No, I, I, he, he, he came with it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I, I'm just suggesting we might have a car here that yeah. he can drive into yeah, As town. it so happens, conveniently arrives. Okay. There you go. So, so he, lives, is... he lives in an apartment on Chamberlain Boulevard. He owns an entire apartment block on Chamberlain Boulevard, but he does not share with anyone. Okay. Now, is anyone doing anything to help Doug recover from his I'm, mental break? I am literally yes. on the ground in the same position, just rocking back and forth and just and and muttering to myself uh, things against the priest that he was he was wrong, that that I was wrong, that everybody's wrong. We've all we've all sinned. And and I'm talking about how my mother will 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 never see me because i will be in hell and i'm just so i'm not getting up i'm not able to get up i'm just rocking on the ground on my knees once the girl is more or less sorted i would go across to him and say you weren't to know pick yourself up we need to go talk wow. to talk to talk to can't can't there's can't. a bit of bedside matter for you I can't talk to, can't. <laughs> don't have time for anything else i can't i can't you can. You must. I'll, um, John, come on. L let's, let's yeah. carry him to the car. Okay. Do you want um, to make an inspiration roll there, old uh, Doc? To sure. see if he yeah. can help recover some mental conditions. For, I'm uh, not playing uh, my bloody it. horn in this back garden, mm. in this yeah. hellscape. Hellscape. I think it's the word, think it's yeah, the word you're you. looking for. Hellscape. Uh, turns out. I pushed it. Thank you. Oh, you pushed it. Nice. Okay, there you go. You get one. I'm getting angry with him. Which is two conditions, I yeah. think. Yeah. So physically, I'm okay. Mentally, I'm just a mess. So uh, I. No, can't... no, no. That's mental. That's mental. Oh, that's Operation. mental? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not physical. That's mental. So it's an inspiration, so it's mental. Okay, oh. so I take off broken and I one take other. off. And I take off angry. Up to you. But you it's broken is counted as one of those that I take yeah. off. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm still frightened and hopeless. Okay. Awesome. Basically, I'm shouting at you. But, That's but a little bit more functional. But a little bit more functional. But a little bit more functional. Yeah. And yes, the doctor. Would you? Do you? Do you want to roll? My God, man! You're carrying so many injuries. I should help you with that roll. Yeah. While well, I'm ranting at him. Angrily, yeah. While you're binding, while you're bandaging him, you're giving him your best bedside manner. I have. I th Suck it up, sunshine. We've all got problems. <laughs> I've got my medical equipment. Can I use that? You can. I think there are one or two other people who are still injured as well. Wow. Yeah, you're all over that. Too. I don't need a hospital. Uh, 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 I'm exhausted. <laughs> Anyone who's got a physical condition, take it away. Thank you. Because uh, that's so, what nine, eight, no, nine or six successes. Anyway, it's enough. Yeah, three successes. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm basically trying to patch everybody up. Nine. And then yeah. we said, "Come on, we must hurry now." Okay. So, All right. So you bundle into Frank's car, and you tear oh. off with the burning building behind you. Dramatically, um, pretty good scene. Oh. Yeah. No, scene. no, absolutely. Oh. Um. And you found lots of little rotting slugs as you made your way back through the garden to the to the car, um, all turning into sort of ashy dust. 
um, over time. Uh, you jump in the vehicle. What do you do with Esther? Are you going to go past the... We'll go past the camp. Past the camp, drop Esther yeah. off. Okay. That's a bit awkward because obviously someone's going to ask, where's Billy? But uh, in the... in the, if for <laughs> He the didn't sake make of, it. He didn't make it. Wow. Yeah. Just straight up, he just didn't make it. <laughs> I, I will basically over. say, unfortunately, Billy, um, the, the men killed Billy. Wow. Wow. The priest lies. Jeez. That he said the men. Yep. Uh, I yep. said the men. The I men. didn't say which <laughs> men. <laughs> so I, I, I lie. I, 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 I lied in so sort of. It didn't lie. It was a it, white. But I, I, I misled. I think yeah. the word is. <laughs> yeah. A lack of specificity, perhaps, in your communication provided yeah. just enough ambiguity to, <laughs> yep. you know, cover all sins. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. no, I, I'm, I'm still, I'm still going to basically be talking to my father about that because that was a lie as far as i'm concerned yeah no it's definitely a lie mm. all right so you then drive on to you know to chamberlain boulevard which is a small two-story sort of four four apartments so two apartments on the bottom two apartments on the top um uh thing uh it's quiet um and yeah there's 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 lights on in you pull up out the front what do you want to do this is now, vengeance, this guys. Is an remember these are the people building. that killed your friends all those years ago as well these aren't just you know recent <laughs> killers of friends these are these are people who killed friends of yours from dec you know almost a decade ago now it's tradition yeah. can i ch check if there is any people guarding the the building or carrying weapons or just you can't around. see anyone outside the building now so we're opening the boot of my car everybody's now when you say there were lights on um yeah. he'd got the whole building but it's an apartment building and he was living in an apartment so are there only lights on in one apartment or are there other floors with lights on that uh the stairwell? two top story apartments are both lit Upper duplex. I would ask you gentlemen not to go down the ways of violence. Violence is the only answer uh, for them, Father. What way would you they go? Will, uh, violence no, is never will. the answer. Yeah. It's not the answer. It's a kind of solution. If if you right. are going to do this, I, I cannot be involved. What, what way would you go? Do you want them to call the Let, police, Father? Well, yeah, police. I'm not that. going to Listen call to the police on you. No. Let's go in and find out what's going on. It's my theory that if the little girl is affected by us shutting the machine down. <laughs> in the same way that uh the old white guy is then he's in no state to do violence but if violence is done unto us we will defend ourselves father you slept through the last time but they hurt us last time I killed one of us yes yeah. let's see if we can talk to them yeah Let's go upstairs. All right. So, who's got the shotgun? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, oh God! It's oh me. God! What and have we done I'm, with his shotgun? And, and I, I have my shotgun. It's in my pant leg, like like it normally is. Oh. And I feel completely and totally frightened about the situation. I'm frightened about myself. I'm paranoid about you, whether or not I can trust you all, especially the priest. I feel hopeless that I'm useless, oh. and that I have determined myself to to go to hell so i am just yeah. <laughs> spewing out all of these things and 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 i'm just i'm in disbelief i'll go with you but i'm in disbelief about how we can even help this situation samuel i'm not sure that we can but i tell you what won't help 
your shotgun. Give it to somebody else. They're Give it to me. You know I've eschewed gu guns. Gun, me. Guns You're going to shoot me. You're going to shoot me. I'm not going to shoot you. I'm going to take the cartridges out of it. The worst I'm going to do with it is use it as an improvised club. Nobody guns don't solve anything. I shot myself anybody. in the foot. Literally, too often. We're Believe me, shooting, shooting you will put in, uh, putting you to rest. I feel we're all going to die. Uh, we're all going to die. The question is when. Now. And what, I, what I don't I feel think we're going to die now. Yeah, that's that's why I don't want you to be carrying a loaded shotgun. It's not a good frame of mind to be in. No, you've already murdered one child. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> So, I, I need, I need, I, I feel I need to roll to see whether or not, or somebody needs to ro roll whether or not they've okay. convinced me. But at the moment, I'm completely uninspired. You murdered a child with that shotgun. Give it. Up. I am going to shut up, Father. It's not <laughs> not what he needs to hear now. <laughs> I'm going to stop doing a relationship of trust. Is that what you're saying? It's not contributing to a relationship. I'm going to put my hand on his shoulder. I'm going to look him in the eye and I said, Samuel, you know me. You know I speak the truth about what I see. We really don't need that gun down your pants leg. Take it out, <laughs> unload it. And give it to me. All right. Can, can and I'm gonna roll some in, bloody in, dice. Can oh, can I is. request an inspiration? You're not getting an inspiration. You're getting a manipulation. Oh mate. fuck. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so, sorry, certain monetized people. No, 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 don't worry about it. So I manipulated <laughs> with seven bloody <laughs> dice, and I got one success. Yeah. Do you want to fight that? Uh, what's the contested role again? Um, I think in this uh, game, it's manipulation. I believe that it is. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So. I was going to support you, as I said. Yeah, Ooh, cool. the you have no success. Uh, I'm going to give him the gun, and I'm going to say, I, I trust you. And I give him the gun, and I give him all of my cartridges. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Oh. I'll put the cartridges in my pocket. I'm really not comfortable with carrying this around. I'm taking the cartridges out of the is it a breech loader or yeah, a, they're both they're both they're both in there. It's completely yeah. reloaded. I'm emptying those out, and uh, I'm carrying it like a club, casually. Yep. Mm. You get. By the way, you get a damage one for that. For that. Cool. Yeah. Can I put the shotgun? Back. I'll put the shotgun on your um, sheet there, man. Yeah. So Safety on. Safety on. You can take it off of mine, too. Uh, oh. I must have written it up separately. Damn it. Well, I've got the stats here, so... Yeah. Or you could pull it down from the um, items. Thomas, no, on the way over, I'd have been playing with the rosary given, the, given by my father's priest. To, I want to claim her frightened. Okay, go. And, I, and as we're and as he's and as he's doing the rosary, I'm I'm looking at him doing it, and I keep on repeating, "He's not forgiving me. He's not forgiving me. A priest can't forgive me. A priest, a priest can't even forgive me. A priest can't even forgive me. A priest can't." Even Remember, he's me. not a real priest. <laughs> Let's just I'm say that to him. Priest. <laughs> Remember, he's not a real priest. <laughs> Uh, I'm not even I'm not even forgiven by a fake priest. I'm not even forgiven by a fake priest. I'm not, <laughs> not even a fake priest. Not even a fake priest will forgive you. That's a t-shirt there. I am not a fake priest. Yeah, but he's that we know you're not a fake priest. You're, Turn you're, you're to the a mask. priest twice over. Turn to but. the mask. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, so um I'm just going to give you a, 
a rifle for the sake of this conversation. It's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm very reluctant to use it. So you now have the fact a that you're giving it to me means that there's probably a whole bunch of mafiosi with guns. And you have the rifle butt as well, so you can club people with it. Cool, cool, cool. Um, okay, you have a gun. Um, uh, Samuel, I've provisioned you something in your uh, ankle there, uh, just for you to hold on to and to love. Um, have you? I have. You're the sort of guy that would have something tied around his ankle. I can't believe I that you would. probably would, yes. Yeah, so have you've you given up it? the shotgun. Have you given it to me? I have. It's on your sheet and everything. It's in your combat. Oh, uh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I see yeah. that. Yep, yep. Yep, yeah. You're the sort of guy that would do that. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. So you are equipped with that. You've taken the shotgun off the one person who knows how to use it. And you have just saying, and <laughs> your strategy yeah, is I know. <laughs> take the shotgun off the person who can use it. Um, I was only worried about this door. when you started being really worried about giving me the stats of the bloody gun. Uh, do you, I don't know why. Um, they're peace-loving people. I mean, yeah, everything really about the people you've met says... They're awesome. It's like going lovers. to Sesame Street. Yeah. Or play school. I'm going to give the gun to uh, Father Daniel. <laughs> yeah. Please with a shotgun. That's a cool movie. Don't give him any, <laughs> don't give him any shells, though. <laughs> that that really would faith. never be used. <laughs> All right. Uh, there's, a, there's, there's. Basically, it's an apartment. There's a single door entrance that you go up to. There's a corridor that you know, second story, mm. sort of stairwell. Sorry. Um, there are doors coming off it. Okay. And uh, I'm, um, I'm not stupid. Uh, John, we're still in our um, electricity company overalls, aren't we? Uh, the, the, uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Shall we go in first, and um, you know, if anybody stops us, we can, you know, we can even probably make our excuses and it leave. Pro it, it probably hasn't hasn't been watched for washed for weeks. So yeah, yeah, okay. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure, but but let's you know, and it's kind of sooty now, and it smells quite mm. a lot of diesel, but um, mm. and flesh, obviously diesel and flesh, but. Um, <laughs> And smoke. <laughs> uh, all the all the goods, none of the bads. Mm. But uh, should we should we just go in first? I think they're expecting us, and they saw us before. So uh, I don't think this ruse will. will uh, one second. Yeah, I clubbed this person with my my crowbar. Yeah, and but he saw me. Yeah. This is all good, but what I'm saying is right now we're going in on the ground floor. There may be people who haven't seen us here who are keeping a guard out and we've got to get past what them I... before we get up to the top floor. And Whatever so... you say, Atlanta, you're the lucky one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, okay, so just go in. Mm. And as, uh, as, as I head in through the front doors of the apartment building, I say, so, John, uh, this is... Uh, Number one one five zero Main Street. We've got a fuse box, top floor. It says. Um, is there anybody around? Uh, not on the ground floor, no. And the door is not locked. Yeah. Okay. okay. I wasn't expecting that this ground floor door to be locked. It's communal, after all. Okay then. Call the others in. Head up the stairs. All right, you get up the stairs. When you reach the top flight, you can see the doors to the two apartments uh, open, and you can see a body lying outside of one of the two doors um, yeah. on the ground. Um, they look withered and drained, somewhat similar to effects you have seen in previous times. Uh, hold on. Effects I've seen in previous times. Yes. Uh, uh, uh. Like me, oh, you actually no, you were assaulted by a withering spell when you were in the in the campsite as well. In the campsite as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. So I look meaningfully at John because we both know what this means. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's let's move now, on. Let's just whisper. Let's just. <coughs> 
no. I, I pause a whisper to John. Now, I, I was taken out in that fight. Did anybody oh, nice. get any shots on these people? Yes. I'm not Some asking you. <laughs> no, uh, thank you. Yes. Some will uh, try to shoot the, the big fellow, but uh, it, it went through him, but... But he wasn't affected. Him as much. Yeah. I tried to hit him with my crowbar as well. I guess it didn't do anything as well. Maybe after we destroyed this machine, he okay. was restored to his former self. Let's see. Can I then stealth up to the doorway quietly? You can certainly make an attempt to do so, so please make a stealth roll. Zero successes. Mm. Would you like to push that? Run uh, stealth as well. And I am feeling tired. And I will roll stealth. Again. Did you want me to explain something, Derek, oh, by the way? I've just looked at the chat window and noticed yeah, that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not yet there yet because I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not seeing anything yet. Okay. Well, you are seeing the withered body on the ground. Yeah, it's a. It, I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready for okay. it. Okay, I'm waiting to play it. I'm waiting for it to play it. Success! You sneak up to the to the door. Right. Can I hear voices around in the apartment itself? You can hear piteous weeping as someone begs for their life. Right. Okay. Now we've got two apartment doors open and opposite each other. Which one is the piteous weeping coming from? Uh, the one on the right hand side. Right. Okay. So that's the one I've got my back to the wall against that. Yeah. Do we recognize the voice? Uh, no. Okay. We'll I, go I'm so the nervous way. about turning the doorway. I, I call the others and, or didn't I, I signal to the others and tell them to come up to you. Yeah, we will go toward the voice. Okay, so ready. I. I look at both of the, I, I look at, I hear the sound, I look at the bodies, and I'd like to use my talent element. Okay. Uh, you have cut off the natural source of force, power, whatever, mm -hmm. uh, that was fueling the big guy. Mm -hmm. And you're looking at this body and you're thinking, he might be a bit desperate to hang on to whatever it is that makes him him. Like, he might be feeding on other people to try and <laughs> hold on to what he is. Okay, so I convey that to the rest of the, the group. Do you and have that so turn the to weeping as Paul. the person's going, please don't kill me. I've served you so faithfully. Uh, if, so if you all of us hear that, I was only... I was only um, uh, no, no, you can all hear it. He called you up. He called uh, you as soon as, up. Soon as, as, soon as I hear the piti piteously we weeping, I am running into that room. Okay, great. Awesome. Um, you run into the room. There's a couple of bodies on the ground. They look like rich people's clothing, but they're withered bodies inside, so who can tell? Um, uh, in various states of disarray, as in they were trying to flee slash begging for their lives slash something else. Um, uh, lying on his knees, um, directly in front of you as you sort of run around the corner is the thin guy, the Italian mafioso guy that you'd run into, um, those of you who remember in the camp. Um, yeah. he is, you know, hands clasped, begging for his life, standing over him almost, you know, sort of two meters tall is the leader, um, not Rosotti, what was his name again? Sedgwick. Um, Sedgwick standing over the top of him. And you can see that Sedgwick's, you know, sort of coughing and spluttering and these dying worm things are falling out of his body and out of his mouth. They're just coming out of his body. Like, they're not even coming out of a, a mouth. They're just kind of sort of shifting out of his body and falling to the ground. It's really quite a horrific sight. We'll deal with that in a second. Um, but he's, like, going... No, you, you know, and your service has been faithful, you know, and he's like reaching down to sort of grab the guy's face and obviously do something not particularly pleasant. Um, 
I'm immediately going to whip out my holy water and I'm going to basically start attempting to drive out the spirit. Right. So you're exercising him. Splashing him yep. with holy water and praying. Yep. Okay. Do you actually have exorcism as a talent? I've got holy water which you, I, I, as, an, as a gear, which yeah. enables me to dry out spirits. Uh, I have <laughs> medium, six cent. No, I've got a blessing. But apart from that, I've got... I, I, right. I don't think... Is, is exorcism an actual I'm, I'm bit of talent right in? I'm looking it up now. I don't think it's a talent. Because I would have potentially taken it. Yeah. If, if, but I don't think it exists in... Vason. I don't... It's not in Mythic Britain or something, is it? Oh. Oh, no, you're right. It's not. No, no. no it's not. Yeah. It's all good. Because, uh, you know, I've got... I've got all the, like, you know, medium and... There's uh, absolution and confessor. He obviously yeah. didn't take confessor. I I know that. For fact. <laughs> yeah, I haven't, I've got I've got blessing. I haven't got confessor. Uh, All right. And I haven't got I've got absolution, but they, they weren't. They didn't seem appropriate. <laughs> um, absolution. I think is my. It actually is going to be my next pick, but. All right, so you it. charge in, throwing holy water at him. Make an oh. inspiration roll for me, please. Okay. Oh, I forgot I have a critical injury. Okay. Cool. Uh, inspiration. Yeah, that was yeah. from the withering attack from earlier. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the withering nice. <laughs> nice. Um. Okay. Um. You're able. It turns to face you. You have not exercised it, but it does turn to face you. Uh, it's attention now drawn to you. So congratulations. You've successfully yeah, no, got no, no, I, 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 that, was, that was what I was attempting to do. All right. So that is the priest's role and action. Uh, next in line, let's go with you, Mr. Arnsworth. What do you want to do? Yeah. Um... <sighs> I, have, uh, I don't know if I got my gun or not. Uh, I will use my crowbar and yeah, launch yeah, at you his. You can have your uh, gun if you want. Uh, let, uh, do, 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 I reckon let if you had it in the back of Frank's car, you definitely would have put it in your pocket before yeah. you came up the yeah. stairs. I, think so. yeah. I don't think let's, there's any uh, debate. Let's now. try first uh, a crowbar. <laughs> <from there. coughs> okay, so you just come ramming in and swing this crowbar directly at him. Uh, make a attack roll, please, with your crowbar. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, scheisse. Okay, I will push that for sure. Uh, uh. Okay, it's a it's I a it's a be... marginal hit. Um, I'm exhausted. Uh, Oh, I needed to add that. Okay. Let me just put this in uh, protection. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's not going to roll for me. Uh, no, it's not going to roll for me. Uh, oh, there it is. Right. Okay. Did that work? No. Okay. Fine. Fine. See what I care. Um, I've just realized that resetting everything means I don't even have my little dice pool thing. That's annoying. Oh. Uh, let me just do it that way, can't I? Uh, yeah, I can. It's not actually what I'm rolling, but it'll roll the right number of dice. Okay, yes, you hit him with the crowbar. It seems to shake him slightly. Maybe it's the holy water. Of course. <laughs> um, Atlanta, what would you like to do? Okay, I'm. Uh, can I make a medicine roll on myself is my first question. Yep. I need to pull myself together, first of all. So that is what I'm doing. I have a bonus for that. Uh, so um, medicine. And the bonus from the skill is plus one, is it? From the skill? I, I've got a talent of um, uh, uh, battlefield experience or something. Field okay. medicine. Yep. Go. Is that plus one? I think it's plus two, actually, but... Two. Don't quite okay, know. I'll take you two. 
Uh, doesn't actually say. Ah, oh, sod's sake. But hold okay, on, that... didn't you, did you get healed when Frank did the, I rolled three successes yes. and healed? Yeah, this, the, this is, this is my exhausted from the push I did sneaking oh, to ah, the Just moments ago, right, yeah. okay, ignore me. Yes, fair enough. All right, so you do medicine on yourself unsuccessfully. Tricky but necessary. Leaving us with the doctor and the private investigator. Doctor, doctor, what do you want to do? Well, I'm actually keeping a very, very close eye on our <coughs> PI. Are you? Yeah. Don't I want to him. see how he reacts to the situation, what he's up to. Okay. In which case... Samuel! I almost, I almost choked myself. All right. So, what, I... What are you doing, Samuel? I have... Uh, I have quite an investigative uh, mind. But it's broken. So I'm of two, I, I, I'm split, which ties in with my critical injury, which is split consciousness. And so I have this uh, insight into situations that come mm -hmm. from the other world, but I also have the paranoia and the fear uh, that has come from the recent events. And so I try really, really hard to look at the situation and assess as, as uh, 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 in my learning, what would be the best approach to deal with this situation. And so um, I give myself the four extra dice um, and I roll that. And you get one success. <laughs> Okay. Uh, because it turns out you're not very good at learning. Okay. Um good to know. Um <laughs> well, I, well I, I have eight in it, but I have two conditions at the moment. So that's right. not bad. It's not terrible. No. Um I'm not sure, did you add the bonus dice? I added the four dice, yes. Okay. All right, cool. Because so it, it yeah, uh so minus two. Okay. Um so you all right, so I could push the roll. No, 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 no. It's no, no, no. Sorry, I'm just trying to think how I describe it. Um, so this, this, this person, this thing, this, this, this Sedgwick. Sedgwick. He's um. You you know for for a fact that he's just going to keep on trying to feed on people, like because it because it's the only way he can sustain his body now, mm -hmm. right? Like he's lost. So either he goes back to being a normal person, which he clearly is not interested in being, um, or um, he's going to just exponentially, you know, feed because he's never going to be able to satisfy the hunger, right? Like, because yep. he's no longer connected to the world that was supporting him. So he's basically a mad vampire uh, for all intents and purposes. Um, and in your mind, you got to put him down. It's actually the only answer. And you're pretty sure you can exhaust whatever defenses he has if you just keep on slamming him hard enough. But also fire. But also fire. Uh, so there's strong I, evidence that fire will do the job. Okay, so I've already used my turn by by my thinking. Yep, but that's, and that's so, your insight. And so I I I have enough words to be able to say to Atlanta, he needs to burn. He will feed forever. He will never be satiated. And then I go back to my paranoid. But I, I speak in a very clear way. And then all of a sudden, I'm, I'm kind of back to my hopeless kind of... Uh, but, I, but I'm very, very clear. This will never be satiated. He needs to burn. It. It needs to burn. I'm clearer. And I and I say it directly to the horn man. What effect is the the priest having? Uh, unfortunately, not a lot. Putting the fire out with his holy water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Going to be so much more difficult to burn now. <laughs> <laughs> his holy water is flammable. <laughs> 
<laughs> Unfortunately, Only when I'm near it. If I touch not it, it might light up. Water. If it's I not, touch it's, it, it's, it not, it's not vodka. Okay. All right, so it's his go now. Uh, yep. And he points at the priest. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> and points his fist at you in the way that he's been doing a bit every now and then. Um, ooh. Oh, go away. No. no. Just, just give me one sec, guys. Get. It's magic. And then that there's a climatic. <laughs> it's gonna get eaten. <laughs> In the meantime, let me just do this again. Sorry, just exiling oh, the cat. Ah, uh, yep. Oh, now that's just showing off. <laughs> just, us. Yeah, that's a great game as well. Nice. All right, it's not show and tell, people. It's not show and oh, tell. Oh, okay, that's right. We were in a serious moment. Sorry. We were. I had to deal with the cat getting into the office, but you know, once that's we got I do that all the time. Yeah. But this is all right. Cat. Priest. Um, I'll have you know, she is the finest of Sumerian goddesses, and she'll accept no other, <laughs> accept no other moniker. Yeah. Um, you know, her name is Anana, goddess of love and war. Yeah. So you know, just have some respect there. Yeah. Um, she's no convict cat. I just, and since I'm on the topic, my my dog is named Nyx, who is the queen of darkness. Hold on, I thought this wasn't show and tell. It was. <laughs> That's I right. Yeah, we I, I blame this. Was, I hold, I hold this myself. Was Thomas's I hold fault. myself responsible yes. for that moment. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So uh, he slams his fist. It's it's nowhere near as powerful as it was previously. Um, can you make a force roll for me, please? Oh, priest to priest. Ha! Huh. No. You laugh in the face of evil magic. Uh, as it has no effect on you. Nice. Obviously, God is with you. That's all I'm yes. going to say. Yes, obviously. Oh, the, God and the gods. Mm. Both. And the gods, yep. Mm. All I'm, I'm an e equal opportunity. Uh, True that. True that. Yep, yep. Um, so, yeah, he tries to do stuff to you and it fails to take hold. Magic. Your yep. evil magic has no hold on me. Um, mm. Give up your... Uh, vile things and uh, revoke what you have done here. I never. I never, never, never <laughs> tried. I tried. And I'm it so sorry. For okay. That. So sorry. Okay. Uh, I think we're back to um, you, actually. Oh, priest of priests. Well, I'm, I'm continuing doing what I was doing. I'm right, basically okay. You're, you're, you're stole you him on... to basically revoke and, and renounce uh, <laughs> the evil that he is doing. Okay. Um, uh, I think then it's... Up to God, uh, God's judgment. Then it's Atlanta's go. No, not Atlanta. Um, John's go. John, John, crowbar boy. Uh, I will try to use the crowbar and kneecap him. Okay, just... <laughs> By the way, the Italian guy is scrabbling out of the room, <laughs> yeah, just so sure. that's clear. He's taking yeah. the opportunity to make a bolt for it. Um, no, I'm, I'm happy with that. I've saved his life, so I'm happy. Yeah, I will try once again. I have a penalty because I have a condition. Let's roll two, two success. successes. Mm. Slams into him. Mm. Uh, Both kneecaps. <laughs> At the same time. Mm. Mm. All right, I'll just mm. roll that empathy dice pool again uh, as a proxy for armor. Oh, no, this time Ooh, his yeah. armor goes, machine says no. Okay, fair enough. Um, because what's the damage of the crowbar? What's its base damage? Is it just one? It's one. Yeah. It's one per success, isn't it? So Yeah, mm. so yeah, he, he, he bounces it. Sure. All right. Uh, then it is... Atlantis. I'm going to grab uh, the Italian as he calls out of the room. Do you, can you make a uh, can you make a vigilance oh, roll for me, please? There, uh, Doug. Oh. Samuel, Samuel, can you make a vigilance roll for me, please? Um, I'm at minus two, but I will try it. Uh, I'm going to push it. Uh, um, yes, in answer to your question. Thank you very much. All right. 
<laughs> Everyone else goes, hold on. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, John, not John, Atlanta. I'll get it right eventually. Atlanta, mm. what are you doing? As this Italian is crawling out of the room on his hands and knees, <laughs> can I grab him by the collar? You can? I'm going to say, we can't let this creature live. We've got to burn him. Where in this building is the gas or whatever to burn him with? All right, so you're asking him that question. He's like, there's gas in the basement, man. But I, look, you need to do what you need to do. I'm getting the hell out of here. Like, he's not interested in fighting the monster. He just wants to get away. Um, God, if only I were John, I'd pick him up and throw him over the yeah, staircase. What a but, bastard, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm not John. <laughs> shit, yeah. shit. Basically, he's like far. a stuck Irish pig, man. Anyway, the, you know, the untouchables the scene where he yeah. runs the thin Italian guy off the fence, off the roof, just saying. Um, all right. Well, you've grabbed him. He's told you there are gas. There's gas in the building and that it's downstairs in the basement. What's in my car? Uh, at that point, who's left? Oh, uh, I believe uh, our good friend, uh, the doctor. doctor. What doctor. would you like to do, doctor? Yeah, oh, I, doctor. I overheard this conversation. I basically started hobbling down the stairs, probably to my car, because I know exactly where my car, the petrol can is. Jerry okay. Can. Um, Jerry can, yeah. And try to get that. That will probably take me a while. All right. You're doing that. Uh, and uh, Samuel. What are you doing, Samuel? Um, so I'm going to try to move into the kitchen, and I'm going to draw a pistol from my ankle what? and back into <laughs> the kitchen and turn around. What? Uh, what? Do you need me to roll? If you're doing what I'm assuming you're doing, nothing. Because you just are spinning dials. Yep. Ah. Uh, and I have my gun drawn. All right. That's your action. You are spinning dials. Okay. Um. I think that's everyone, in which case I get another go. He still hates the priest. I think that's fair. Yeah. Oh, yes. Force roll, please, priest, as he tries to draw more energy from you. I push it. I'm going to push that. Oh. And, oh, did, did it push? No. No, obviously, obviously no. I did uh, not. Did not succeed. Nope. Okay, you take a physical condition of your choice as it drains your life force. At that point, can everyone make a who can see the priest, uh, which is not everyone, Me? actually. No, I, I'm still I'm hiding stairs. outside. Have you noticed uh, my cowardice? It just be John. Uh, I am the only one. Uh, and the priest. Can both of you make fear checks for me, please? It's just fear one. You've seen this effect a few times, so it's... Um, who who and what? Me and... Uh, you and John are both suffering a fear one effect as you wither under his baleful mage magic. Okay. I have okay. a plus one because of my talents. Yeah, same here. Okay. And you both laugh in the face of fear. Mm -hmm. So... At this point, what we have is uh, the doctor hobbling down the stairs and out of the building to get petrol from the back of the vehicle. Uh, we have John Arnsworth sl slamming his crowbar into the back of the knees of this tall thing as it slams its hand into the priest and is clearly now feeding off the priest. The priest going, ah, underneath it. But, you know, at the same time, still praying, still holding on to his faith at the same time. Mm -hmm. We have Samuel has moved past this scene, has stepped into what is basically, because it's not really, like, there's not a closed door or anything. So there's a, there's a you know, there's an archway sort of entrance and is now in the kitchen and has now spun all the dials for the gas um, cooker. 
um, to full on, but has not ignited the gas, one assumes, mm. um, and just has gas pouring out of it. Am I right? You are correct. Okay, awesome. And, you got and Atlanta, me. the one bit I missed was where are you at? I'm still with my back to the wall by the door. <laughs> I'm <not looking> around. <laughs> um, however, I think what I'm probably doing now is putting cartridges into the shotgun. Okay. And there is a gas leaking. Nice. He doesn't know that. <laughs> he doesn't yeah. know that. Huh? All right, new round. Um, you're going to need at least another round, maybe even two of gas leakage to get mm. enough gas to do anything useful with it. Mm -hmm. um, you can shoot him, though, or yep. are you holding on to the gun to... I'm actually... Uh, I'm act uh, He's going to shoot gotta himself be, with the gun. There's got to be cans, priest. right? There have to be cans around yeah. the kitchen. Yeah. Cans of and, beans, you mean? Yeah, can, yeah, he's got a can of beans. And you can't so eat those quick enough to I, add to the gas. So I grab some, <laughs> I grab some beans, not yeah. mentioning any particular uh, brand name of beans, and I throw <laughs> these, I, th I throw it at him to get Cedric's attention, and as I'm doing that, I tell John, I will atone, get everyone out. Oh, Okay. I will right. atone. John, trust me. Get everyone out now. No. Get the Don't do out. something st stupid. You can redeem yourself without doing something stupid. I am unforgivable. There is no for <laughs> everybody is forgiven. The, no, the, the father the, will forgive me. The pass is, is the pass will not be easy. No. Uh, pull yourself. Run, the the pass will not run. be easy. Can of beans, bang. All right. I'm going to shoot. Roll, I, roll shoot a, the roll can a, of beans. Roll range of combat. Roll. I range feel like. Yeah, range combat, sure. There, I hit him hey, in the head. There you go. There. All right. Bang. Can of beans hits him in the side of the head. Um, I'm assuming you're not going for damage. You're going for a distraction. Absolutely. As, <laughs> you know, the, gas, as the gas is leaking out, not smelling like a thing. Yep. Which it doesn't at this point because no, it it's doesn't. pre 1937, 38, whenever it is that that That's occurs. That's right. Oh, uh, and okay. and only those who Looking actually up. observed me know that I've turned the dials. Hmm? So everybody which else, is nobody, which is well, no one, no one knows you no turned one. the dials. So nobody really knows what's going on. Yeah, but yeah. I assume what you've done is you've thrown the can and then you're shouting and waving. Yeah, and yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm trying to get his attention so that he attacks that, me. You know. Hey, monster over yeah. here. Uh, okay. All right. Um, well, I'll give you that. So you, the can hits him in the side of the head. He turns from the priest and you start yelling insensitive comments about his parentage. <laughs> Essentially, yeah. Um, well, he's a racist, so it's not hard to come up with things that will make him, you know, come right at you. Yeah. Um, all right. Hey, so that be. happens. <laughs> Um, so he turns and starts, he drops the priest and starts lumbering towards Samuel. John, what are you doing? Uh, probably, um, pull up the priest. He would, he, he is going to do something stupid. You need to talk to him to, to, to get away from this suicide that he's going to. I'm looking quite like. <laughs> Get out. Get out. As I've been drained a little bit. Get him he out. has been drained a little bit. Get him All out. right, you've got a choice, John. You've got the priest in your hands. You're saying you've got to talk him down. But like, mm. like to be clear, mm. this isn't like a general chat with two people having yeah. a bit of a chat yeah. in the corner. Yeah. This yeah. is, there's a seven, you know, eight foot tall human being charging towards Samuel who's throwing this can of beans at him and he's now got his pistol out, I'm assuming, and he's backing into the kitchen at the same time. You're standing outside of the kitchen holding the priest, going, priest, you've got to talk him down. Like, just to be clear, this yeah, isn't I understand. A, yeah, you yeah. know, let's have a general chat moment. I, I, I sort of look at you baffled. <laughs> Not really understanding what's going on, still chanting. I'm still obviously focused on uh, my exorcism, even though it's not working. Even though it's not um, working. Yeah, I know it's All not right. working. I'm still focused. Yeah, on uh, it. I look at to Samuel. 
good luck, my friend. Good luck. And I carry uh, the priest and... No, yeah. no. As I, okay, as I you're, you carry to... the priest out. Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta John and... comes around the corner, dragging I the priest with him. I, I cover John's escape by standing in the doorway, carefully taking aim and shooting the, the hammer in the back with the shotgun. <coughs> Roll to hit. Right. So, uh, combat tab. Uh, I haven't got a shotgun, I've got rifle, but never mind. Yeah, it's the same thing. Uh, do I get a bonus for uh, for aiming? Uh, no. No? No. Nope. Oh, Don't need it. Did it there. All right, you blam him in the back with the shotgun. He... Uh, should roll his for his, his armor again. I will roll his armor again. Uh, no successes this time. Right, he's thrown forward with the shotgun blast to the back into the kitchen. Um, at that point, I'm going to uh, hand over to you, Samuel. What what happens, buddy? Um, after enough gas has has leaked, so I'm grabbing you obviously and draining yeah. your life force while you're yeah. waiting for the gas to pool i click the button and shoot up underneath his head like kind of pushing the button to the ignition of the of, of the stove the gas ring the ga yeah. yeah and 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 at the same time shooting him so that so that just in case that doesn't click and ignite. One spark the, or the other. Sure. One spark yeah. or the other, exactly. All right. So you click, click, blam with the pistol. By the way, I don't think there is a clicker to start the fire in the 20s. I'd be surprised. Um, no, to, to probably not. No, there's prob yeah. no I, actually, it's probably it's it's much. probably one of those long matches. Yeah, it would be a long match would be my expectation. Yeah. Like yeah. One of those Well, I'll probably things. shoot first. Because the clickers yeah. are electrical, aren't they? So. They are. Yes, they need a spark. Um, need so a, I'm going to assume you, uh, you, you ignite it with the pistol shot. All right, so you want me to make a roll for that? No. no okay, no, no, cool. No, 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 no. So there's a click, click, blam sound from the kitchen, and there's a woof noise uh, from the upper story. At this point, um, Atlanta, you see the sort of you know him sort of crouch down you've shot it in the back but it's now feeding on samuel samuel looks at you i assume from around the side of the body puts the pistol under its face and then pulls the trigger um there's a moment of silence and then fire just bursts out from that scene well, um, that is a pretty impressive pistol <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like it says so the musician who didn't notice the gas. <laughs> yeah, says so the musician. What the fuck? Um, there's a wolf noise and you know shattering glass flung out from the building. You're hurled backwards. Uh, make an agility roll for me, please. Actually, I can do that. <laughs> All of us. Uh, uh, no, you're downstairs, no, aren't you? No. Atlanta was literally standing in the doorway. That's cool. Yeah. Um, uh, sort of taking the full brunt of the burst. Ooh. Can I push that? You may. You may definitively push that. <laughs> it's not going to. You dive to the side. Let's see what happens. Uh... <laughs> hey. Oh, there we go. You leap out of the way of the blast, just getting singed as you do so. Uh, and that apartment now bursts into flames and, you know, there's fire everywhere. There's screaming um, coming from inside the kitchen. It could be Samuels. It could be Sedgwick's. It could be both um because you know dying by fire is no fun um and you've i assume at this point you know better better class of valor um oh, yeah. make, a, make a run for it uh at mm. this point i just want to point out we're three black people in a white owned apartment yeah. building that just caught fire <laughs> yeah. we've been here before and, and you've lit i was about to say and you've literally been here before <laughs> so you know you've got lessons look this is explicit <laughs> This is explicitly a place you've definitely been before. <laughs> so you bundle in the car and and drive off. 
Um, having I leave the shotgun, by the way, at the top of those stairs. I'm, the, I'm not taking that with me. Trusting fire to deal with any, you know, prints or anything else that might have been left on it. Um, yeah, I'm hoping the fire's going to deal with that. <laughs> I don't think anybody's taken my prints. I think I'm okay. Mm. <laughs> not sure I've been arrested at any point. <laughs> Yeah, you have. Have I? Anyway. <laughs> yes, you have. Yes, you have. First, yeah. Event, yeah. first, 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 um, first adventure. First story. Yeah, yeah. you were actually taken and held in cell. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Oh, well, never mind. Yeah. By the racist when, uh, of New York. And, yeah, when yeah. a priest did the march. Yeah, when the priest did the march to rescue you, which was, mm. you know, awesome. Um, and oh, yeah. that's it. That's Ooh. it. You've defeated the, the cult of the Leviathan, or maybe it's mostly defeated itself. Um, mm. And yes, you managed to save uh, Esther, but uh, sorry, yes, Esther, but not Billy. Uh, very nice death, by the way, uh, uh, Doug. I think an appropriate death. It's a, a good scene. Thank you very much. For it was the, not yes, planned. Well, well done, I, just, I, I would have eventually uh, um, forgiven you, but not at the heat of the moment. Not at the heat of the moment. No, I, it was. <laughs> no. I, I was really glad because I thought that it was awesome that you didn't, because that was very much in character. The it was in the moment. Yeah, and the you paranoia, I mean? and then, and then, uh, uh, I keep on calling him the Horned Man. Uh, Atlanta. Atlanta. Atlanta is, you know, th that kind of level of trust and that moment of clarity to pass it off but i didn't have any idea of, of which direction i was going to go or what mm. thomas had in store but i figured mm. i might as well use the talent and then that combined with the former kind of uh uh what was it i got a what was it i got a a a, a condition of uh of whatever it was and so i thought i'd use that as well so. Yeah. No, it's cool. Yeah, it's a it's a p p p perfect ending for your character. Uh, yeah, so. indeed. Mm, indeed. Split consciousness. Yeah. I just had yeah. this this scene where I was just getting the petrol can out of the car, mm. the jerry can, <laughs> and then comes this big whoosh, and I just look around <laughs> and put the petrol can back in, <laughs> come <laughs> over with a blanket, <laughs> sit in the car, start the engine the running, ready for when we get in yeah. and, and drive off. Yeah. I guess I'll be going then. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I was also conscious of the time because I knew it was approaching the happy hour, as it were, and so mm, I knew yeah. that there was a bit more of a rush, and so that's why I. I and good. so I was texting mm. Thomas saying, "Does the kitchen have a gas stove?" And that's where he said oh, yes. Yeah, and so enough. that's yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you importantly sense. didn't say a gas stove with an electric ignition, did you? <laughs> <laughs> no, in just... sixty-two, they were invented. Oh, what's well, it's piezolitis. Centuries mm. away. Centuries. <laughs> Centuries. But because I had the Centuries. pistol, I figured that <laughs> there would be a spark and that would yeah, yeah, yeah. if Definitely. one one yes. or the other. So yeah. look, you've got to have the heroic death. Yeah. Cool. It was awesome. Get, it was lots get the of payoff. Um, oh, just before, uh, series before I forget experience points that let us not yeah. forget experience points. Oh, oh that means uh, there might be a sequel. You know, uh, and uh, I want to if I can be healed from my uh, my uh, critical condition at the end of the adventure. Oh, yes, we have to roll for that, don't we? Yeah. You might turn um, all right, so... Uh, oh, you got broken, didn't you? Yeah. Mm. Five. I Did have a damage experience. Score. I haven't done anything with it yet. I think it's five XP. Six XP. Six XP. Six oh. XP! So is that, a, is that, a, uh, that in advance, then? Uh, five is yeah, an advance. Yeah, five is an advance. So, okay. yep. <laughs> Three uh, so, six XP and, and where's the headquarters ones? Uh, no, I think it might be in the campaign rules. Ah, questions for development. Uh, two, three. Actually, five x five development five points development. for the. Cool. Yeah. Putting them on the form. Yeah, so that's one advance for the um, so, place as well. I think. Can I can I get exorcism as a 
talent. There's a <laughs> talent which allows you to use holy items to cause damage to um, vessels in the general talents called holy item. Oh, okay. Uh, I actually created an equiv- a kind of exorcism ability for the Japanese one that I wrote um, right. to allow you to do the chanting to drive spirits out kind of thing. Um, but yeah, you have a religious item that allows you to use inspiration to attack vase and causing, you know, one damage. One damage. So okay. I think that's the talent. Um, so basically yeah. praying and and then driving out spirits or at least driving out basin. So yeah, holy symbol. Good stuff. Oh. Awesome. Mm. All right. Um, oh. It is unlikely, unlikely I say, because I originally thought I wouldn't do this again and then I did. So uh, <laughs> um, it is unlikely I will do this again anytime soon. Uh, oh. One of the things I've realized is I have overloaded a few things and I need to cut back. So, but... Yes. Thank you, everyone. No, thank, thank you, you, you Thomas. It was great. absolutely thank you, delightful. Uh, was Thomas, wonderful. this yeah. has been amazing. I've yeah. really I, enjoyed yeah. the event. Yeah. So, yeah. I, it's been yeah. really, really good. I love these characters. I love Top this world yeah. created. Yeah, I love the yeah. world. I love, yeah. yeah. Uh, Herr Doctor, are you going to hit me or not? No, <laughs> love you. Okay. Oh, yeah, we've got to cool. roll your... How does that work again? We've got to roll your critical... Last thing. I can medicine. We've got to roll your critical... Let's see if I be scored for life. Let's have a look. For one success. That's all you need. If you just get one success, that means it it turns into a boon. Insight. Or it doesn't turn into a bane. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's healed. Okay. Cool. Yeah. 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 So it costs you one per to to either heal or to gain. So if you'd roll two successes, you could add your pie and your cake and eat that, as it were. All right, yeah. right, cool. That's All fun. right, well, uh, Oak, uh, start of another busy day of reviewing fe features and functions for a large uh, case management solution. So That's I'll fun. go to that and uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'm going to go take the dog. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye, right, bye guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, thanks, everybody. Thank you. Good bye. night. Night. Bye -bye.